Thanks for joining us for Issues and Answers. I'm Ian Boyd. The IMF program is critical. All of us know that it's important that we pass the, the, the test, that we stay with the program. Well, there's an economic program oversight uh, committee that uh, consists of representatives from the public and the private sectors, trade unions, civil society. The co-chair of that economic program oversight committee, Mr. Richard Biles, is here with us, was here last week. And we continue to talk about issues to do with growth, with the economy, with your prospects for 2014. We thank you for your company. Good to have you again, uh, Mr. Biles. F first off, the, the average Jamaican is concerned about this economic, this economic program that the government is pursuing from the point of view that it seems to be contracting his income, contracting the economy, contracting employment. How do you deal with the view that while the program might be achieving the quantitative targets, people are not feeling it, people are hurting, Mr. Richard Biles? Yes, well, um, you know, the heart of the program is that government must step back mm -hmm. from all this debt. So they have to be more frugal. Yeah. But <coughs> right there in the heart of the program too is the idea that the private sector needs to step forward and step into the space that the government is leaving uh, and in so doing create the jobs. So uh, really the government's job is um, borrow less, spend less, contract the debt. Mm -hmm. The private sector's job is, if you see the government fixing the fiscal problem, you need to grow in confidence and invest more in the real economy. And in so doing, create jobs, uh, some of which are jobs that would have been lost from government. Yes. but. There is a lag <laughs> between the achievement of these uh, targets, government doing the commendable thing of reducing the debt, and the private sector stepping in. And, yes. and, and in that lag is the, is the suffering of, 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 of real people. Yeah. How, how, how do we get people to, to understand that this pain is necessary for the long-term gain? Well, first what of all, I think we people? need to keep that lag to as short a period as, as possible. possible. But uh, to the extent that there is this period, communication is really important. Yes. You know, yes. if somebody um, tells me that I have cancer, um, after I go through, go through the period of denial and so forth, and I reconcile myself to it, and I start the program of chemotherapy and radiation, Somebody would have said to me before, this is going to be tough, Richard, yes, yes. right? And you're going to feel some side effects and so mm -hmm. forth. So mm -hmm. I should be prepared for it. And even while it is happening and the hair is falling mm -hmm. out and I'm losing Good weight, analogy. somebody needs to be b by my side, my family, my doctor saying to me, although you are seeing these outward effects, mm -hmm. you really are getting better. better. Inside of you, the cancer is being killed off. Same thing with this period. Uh, in this lag, somebody needs to be there saying in a convincing manner that we are doing the right things and better will come out of what we are doing. And more importantly, is it the fact that there's really no viable alternative to this um, program? Is, is, is that the, the, the fact? Is there an easier way out? Is there, is there a painless path? No, there are no painless parts out of this problem. It's just like you and your family. If you're in debt, you have to it's dig your way out. You, yes. uh, you know, unless you have some rich cousin that's going to come and mm -hmm. bail you out. I don't know who is a rich cousin to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. um, so we have to claw our way out. Yes. So Baez has spoken about the importance of communication, of just, you know, saying what things are, and that's, that's what...